But you know, the phrase, I can't say enough about a certain person or a certain thing is way overused. But I think I can truly say that about Ned Jarrett. I, again, I can't think of a thing that uh, I would complain about as far as he personally is concerned. And so I knew that I was with a professional. I knew I was going to learn a lot from Ned, and I knew that uh, I was probably going to be better because of him. That Daytona 500 has been mentioned more than all other things put together. There's Jared in front. Come on, Dale. Go, baby, go. You know who I'm pulling for. It's Dale Jarrett. Bring her to the inside, Dale. Don't let him get down there. He's going to make it. Dale Jarrett's going to win the Daytona 500. It was oh, one of those special moments literally in NASCAR, if not sports history, that a father and son have an opportunity to, to share at a very special moment. On this, the 23rd day of May 2011, it is our honor to formally induct our father, Ned Jarrett, into the NASCAR Hall of Fame. You know, God has truly blessed me in so many wonderful ways. He gave me some talent, willpower, strength, and many opportunities to use those attributes. Hi, I'm Chris Schneider. It's one thing to see Ned Jarrett as a racer or a broadcaster. It's another thing to get to know him as a real person. And that's exactly what we're going to do. You know, being a Hall of Famer, obviously you were an intense competitor. You had to be. I mean, you were a winner. But you had this nickname of, of Gentleman Ned. Well, there's some drivers that would say I was not that much of a gentleman on the racetrack. You bring up a great point of prayer in the car. And back then, you know, they didn't have the technology. They didn't have the radio communication. It was pretty much just you. And, uh, you know, and did you do a lot of praying in the car while you were racing? but it's all through the grace of God that whatever I have done came through Him.